What's going on, gang? Jigsaw Chiha, gang. All right, so we are doing a Goku versus Saitama battle here. So I'm gonna point out the faults of Goku, and I'm gonna point out the faults of Saitama, who I think would win. Um, what everybody's capable of and their endurance. All right, so we're gonna go and jump straight into it. Goku versus Saitama, baby. All right, so first, we're on the Dragon Ball Z chapter. So, you know, of course, he's fighting gas because we know they're, we're, we know this is the strongest person in the universe right now. You know, so Goku is fighting the strongest person in his universe, and Garo's fighting the strongest person in, well, not the strongest in the universe, but one of the strongest in his universe right now. All right, so, of course, these guys wished from the Dragon Ball to be the strongest in the universe, which they are. This is them fighting all out. Alright, so, pretty much, I'm just gonna skip straight to the stuff where I point out some things. So, basically, you know, Goku was getting, basically, his ass beat by this guy. Um, throw off the tree. They're not really doing nothing. This right here, this right here, I mean, I, I wouldn't even call this a feat, but his blast went all the way into space. So, which means, if it would have hit the ground, it would have did some major damage. Not saying that it was planetary, but it would have did some damage. Uh, you cannot escape this power. Uh, he's basically shooting at him. So, apparently, this this is probably less, a little bit less than planetary. So, he's shooting him with it. Of course, Goku is getting hurt by it. Um, which, we, as we can see, he got scarred right here, which shows his durability. We all know, you know Goku's durability is not great. So, he is lining him up. He's piecing him. He's two-piecing him with it. Two-piecing him. Choking him out. So, he's hitting him with his uh, projected fist. I call it the Hulk fist. <laughs> so, Fop, of course, Goku's hurt by that, too, which that's not even a city-level attack. It's just a punch. It's literally just a punch and a kick, and he's hurt. His durability is not... It's, it's, it's not great. I mean, but we've we been through that when we saw him get shot with a laser through the chest and almost died. So we all knew that. So the only time we actually saw Goku's durability at his peak was when he was fighting Moro in Ultra Instinct and Moro punched him and broke his hand. Which, that wasn't even really a super great feat, you know, but it was still good. It was still good. Don't get me wrong. Because Moro was powerful, but he wasn't... He wasn't more, he wasn't a combat fighter. He was more of an ability fighter. He had magic. So, it's understandable that him throwing a punch and breaking his hand on Goku, who is fitted for battle, combat battle, it's, it makes sense. You know, it's, it's like it's like this skinny kid at school, you know, weighs probably about 80 pounds, go up against a bodybuilder that's two, 300 pounds, and he punched him. Of course, your hand's going to be hurt more than you're going to do damage to him. You know, you're 80 pounds, you know. <laughs> so, he's piecing them up. God, you know, Granola comes back. Blah, blah, blah. You know, they get talking and stuff, you know. So, now, Granola wants to charge up and attack. Goku's going to hold him off. Um, and the attack that Granola is charging is actually a... It's actually a planetary attack. It's a planetary attack. So, I mean, like, this guy's going to get dead in by a planetary attack. So, durability for Dragon Ball characters is awful. The only person who had great durability in Dragon Ball Z, actually two, was Jiren and Broly. Them guys had some good endurance. But even still, you know, as the fight dragged on, their endurance came down little by little. A little up to the point where they actually started taking damage. Okay, so he's hitting the mobile some Tims and the Hulk hands, and of course, this like I said, this attack that he's hitting Goku with is nowhere near even city level. And let's see the outcome. Goku is hurt. He is hurt bad. Goku does the little force field. He can barely move, but he can still use the force field to protect Ganola. Ganola's charging up the attack. And Vegeta comes in to help. Everybody steps in. Goku does his Su Snow. He, he wasn't expecting that. <laughs> He's like, whoa, what? <laughs> and 
and Goku throws him up to space. Damn it, my eyes are damaged. So, boom. He hit him up with the planetary attack. And Granola is down. And, no, Granola had to charge. Remember, Granola is the second strongest in the universe. He's the second strongest in their universe because he wished it. And gas came after Granola. So, he had to charge this planetary attack up to even do this to this guy. So he got taken out by a planetary attack. Goku got beat up by less, not even city level attacks. So that Goku, he, he, he is strong. He, he is strong, but he grows in battle. Um, and he only really super grows when he gets a new transformation. Goku has to get a new transformation to stand up to greater foes. He can't just Keep growing in base form. Keep growing in base form and get powerful like that. He has to get a new form. That's Goku's downfall. So if he don't get a new form, he's pretty much going to lose that fight. Alright. Only one punch, man. Alright, let's skip. Okay, so we all know, you know, he's fighting Garo. Garo's throwing portals and stuff. Now, Saitama, as we know, Saitama can grab hyperspace portals, black holes, and move them as he pleases. Nothing... No anime character can do, to my knowledge. So, he denies the laws of physics. He's been fighting Garo for a while, taking damage. Garo's copying his power. Garo's literally copying his power. And throwing punches just as hard as Saitama. And Saitama doesn't have a scratch or bruise on him. And all of the attacks that he threw were serious punches. Which was planetary or above attacks. And Saitama is not hurt. As we both saw in chapter 167. The serious punch squared. Destroyed galaxies and stars. So but I'm lowballing it to saying it's a. It's a planetary attack. I'm lowballing it for you know. In, so people don't think I'm trying to be a one punch man target. I'm not. I like Goku and Saitama. But I just speak facts. A lot of people, they, they are in denial. So, alright, so. He punches Garo. They do this little nice looking dance. Where Garo kicks him on the head. He punches him in the abdomen. Sends him back to the portal. He comes back. Saitama ducks down. Goes to the rubble. Comes back. Boom, boom. Chop. You know, we're going to skip out. He chopped him to the neck. That, that actually fucking hurt. Uh, he punched him in the stomach. Came back. No, all this. All these punches are serious punches. So these punches are only getting stronger because he's copying Saitama or trying to keep up with Saitama by copying him. So his punches, every punch Garo throws is getting stronger and stronger as well. But he can't keep up with the momentum that Saitama is growing. So I'm getting left in the dust. And the chart right there shows Garo's growing. He just can't grow as fast as Saitama. So, at the beginning, that was the beginning. They were galaxy level. And so now, Saitama, so this was the beginning right here. So this was the beginning when they did the Serious Punch Square. So now, Garo's up here, which is even stronger than Serious Punch Square when they destroyed galaxies and stars. You see, he's even stronger now. But he cannot keep up with Saitama. Saitama is a whole different breed. One of these punches is eventually going to kill me. If even now, Saitama continues to grow. Due to an upsurge of emotion like never experienced, he is growing. And it gets to the point where Saitama sneezes. He's so powerful now, he sneezes. And literally destroys Jupiter. Now, let's get this right. You see them planets over there on the left? Those are probably the size of Earth, if not bigger. So... Jupiter will equal out to 1,300 Earths. 1,300 Earths. So that's... He, he just destroyed 1,300 planets in one go. In one go. With a sneeze. That's not a punch. or not that, While holding one hand, mind that. With a sneeze. He just... So... People are saying 
Goku can defeat him. Goku is getting beaten up by city level attacks right now, and he's hurt. He's literally hurt. He can't keep up. So, Saitama sneezes and destroys 1,300 Earths. And you tell him you think Goku can keep up with that? Goku can't even breathe in space. Goku can't withstand the climate in space. Saitama's casually moving easily in space, ignoring all reality. Saitama continues to prove to y'all why he's called One Punch Man. He continues to prove he's limitless. He continues to show all types of growth. Never never before seen. Like, look at this. I've never seen Goku do anything like this by himself. Oh, Go Goku punched, you know, Goku and Beerus clashed fist and it was a threat to the universe. It was because of Beerus. Goku fought multiple people after that. That was almost five, that was like six years, seven years ago. And Goku has not done anything like that since. Want to know why? Because he was fighting Beerus. That was Beerus's doing that. Not Goku's power, Beerus's. So we have to, we have to conclude that. Even when he was fighting Jiren, struggling with Jiren, he, they, he never shook the universe with a punch. So, come on. This, like, Goku cannot, he can't withstand a sneeze from Saitama. If a sneeze is destroying 1,300 Earths, and Goku is getting beaten, and, and the, the guy Goku fighting gas was getting beat up by, got taken out by a planetary attack. This is 1,300 planetary attacks right here. So how? How is Goku going to survive this? When the, when the guy he he got beat by couldn't even take a one planetary attack. Come on. All right, so we're going to keep going. His sneeze propelled them so fast, it sent them all the way back, which would normally take years, millions of years to get to. Propelled him all the way back, close enough to where Garo could see the Earth and the sun. So, like, Saitama literally farts in space. He farts in space and gains the momentum he needs to move at the speed of light. So, I mean, like, I don't know what more people want to argue about. He can survive falling from space to Earth, which he already did before when in his fight with Boris. He jumped back from the moon. I knew when he did that, I knew Goku wasn't a threat for this guy. I knew when he did that, Goku was not a threat. Any man that could jump from the moon, get hit to the moon, and like, oh, cool, this shit's cool up here, and then jump back to Earth, they're built different. <laughs> they're, they're just built different. That's all. He is built different. If Goku got hit up to the moon, right now, he will be coughing up blood. Hurt. Say he wouldn't. He's getting coughing up blood, getting hurt now by a tax that's not even hitting him as hard as going to the moon. So come on, man. You use some reality. Use reality. All right. So let's not let's not even get into the fact that you know Garo's gonna teach this man. He, he's gonna teach this man time travel, and the fact that Go. Garo teach him can time travel? That that's weird. Well, Garo can't, but he's teaching him how to do it because he couldn't do it. So he can't manipulate the cosmos for time travel, but he can do it for a lot of other things. So Saitama is learning this in one go. One go. He time travel back. And we keep going. We keep going. Punch is over zero casualty so this right here can be arguable so he the first of Saitama gets pulled with the past Saitama and they merge so we don't know if he fused and their powers combined or he just gained the powers of his future self either way he's still a broken some gun like there there's just ain't no way there ain't no way. So that's pretty much the end. He learned time travel as well as gotten strong enough to sneeze away Jupiter, 1300 Earths. You know, uh, we, we want to talk about feats. I've never seen Goku do a feat like that by himself. 
the the feat that most people like to argue is the Beerus and Goku feat. That's the only thing they can argue about. Something from seven years ago when he's fighting somebody on par, stronger than himself right now, and they're not destroying any planets. They're not destroying any stars. They're 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 not even destroying the planet they're on, and they're going all out to the max of their ability. Let's not get on the fact that Spear Bomb is Goku's strongest attack. Spear Bomb, which is only planetary. Which is only planetary. So, I've I've been watching Dragon Ball Z, like I said, for a long time. And I haven't seen it. Unless you've seen something I've seen, I haven't seen anything to put Goku at Universal. So, I already made a video about this as well. But I'm just ending the debate of Goku versus Saitama. Until Goku, even if Goku do get stronger... Saitama's ability to adapt and become stronger than whoever he's fighting is insane. And then his durability is his durability is beyond universal. Like his durability is so strong. He took multiple he took multiple universal attacks. Not universal. Excuse me. Multiple galaxy level attacks and did not bleed. Did not get hurt. The man is another breed. The man, his durability is out of this world. His durability is just shakes foundations. This is crazy. But yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, let's try to reach 100 subscribers uh, by the end of August. And then, uh, like I said, subscribe. So I'm probably going to do a giveaway sometime uh, this year. So just stay tuned. And I'll holler at you guys later. Chiha out.